Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading from June 15th to the 22nd. I am Charlene Lizette. 22nd? 22nd. All right, let's see what's going on for you. If you're new, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you click subscribe. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morrigan, to whom all my work is devoted to. We are not using this deck. Okay, what is happening? Why? So I consider that like my modern cool deck. This one is my straight to the point. Your, you know, your older aunt, older friend who is really blunt. So let's go see what's going on, Gemini. Why I was pulled to not use that other deck. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but like it wouldn't even let me shuffle it. So Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, High Priestess, the Chair, whoa, okay, uh, way to go, yeah, okay, Two of Pentacles, wow, Gemini, this is wild. Okay, I, I feel right off the bat, Gemini, that um, cancer season is going to bring around abrupt, intense changes, and you're going to start feeling them this week, uh, either because Mercury stations direct on the 22nd or whatever is happening in your transits. I didn't look at everything specifically, um, but, you know, with Mars going into Leo recently, it just really feels like there's this, like, uh, what's it called? Like an avalanche, like a snowball effect of changes happening. Um, and you can actually choose based off of your actions this week, based off of your decisions, based off of how you're going to approach certain situations and or things. Um, you're going to get to choose this week how these things uh, end up working out for you. You Because yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of pentacles and underneath it, you have death and uh, the wheel of fortune. So basically, when I see these the, this spread here, I really feel like you're juggling. Am I going to let the wheel do it or am I going to transform? Okay, when I when I look at death, I often think about us making the decision. We're choosing to let this energy die so that something else can be reborn. When I look at the Wheel of Fortune, it feels like it's universe. Angels, masters, teachers, whatever, the divine force, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just heard somebody go, <laughs> force, the divine force. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, when... Um, when you um when, when the wheel of fortune shows up it's like it's almost like you basically gotta go jesus universe take the wheel so i feel like there's a part of you that's either ready to rip the band-aid off on a certain situation this week or the other part of you is going maybe i just gotta let the universe do it i gotta surrender to the universe okay you got the ten of wands which is you know a heaviness a burden that you're carrying with the ace of cups lots of emotions and then you're getting clarity here with the ace of swords followed by trusting your intuition taking charge of the situation which brings you a lot of wish fulfillment happiness and then it's like full steam ahead and so it's that avalanche gaining momentum so when i see this spread here um, the biggest cards that speak to me are those two aces accompanied by the high priestess and the chariot. Because I feel like if you are able to control your emotions and be in the stillness of your emotions, and if you pay attention to the clarity that's required at this current time for you to be able to make the right choices and to be propelled forward in that avalanche going in the right direction, right? Um, then you are going to see a lot of success and a lot of happiness. I think that it's really cool to see these two aces because it signifies new emotional beginnings, beginning, beginnings along with new intellectual beginnings. Okay, and then when I see the chariot and the high priestess, it's you taking control and understanding that you're a baddie and you got strong intuition and you have a lot of power within you, Gemini, to be able to take charge of situations and most importantly, to be able to control what other people could say, like, how did you surrender to that? You know, how, how did you how did you not control that situation? Oh, my God, I would have, you know, when people turn around and go, oh, my God, how do you do that? Like, I would have lost it. I need to have control over this stuff. 
it's almost like for you, it's the opposite where you're like, you know what? I, I don't really need to control it because in not needing to control it and puppet it around and manipulate it around, um, I end up, um, I end up, uh, allowing things to work out as I want them to. Right. And um, the 10 of wands, um, I feel like as you walk into this week, um, there's a lot of burdens like you're carrying a lot of weight that you don't you need to shed okay um the knight of cups and the knight of wands does you know to me does signify a little bit here Pi or why do i want to say pisces there maybe some of you have some pisces placements gemini um does signify to me that um whoa easy does it okay um the knight of wands and the knight of cups almost makes me feel like yes go ahead follow after the things that are going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment but there is this energy here of like whoa easy does it because of the chariot and the knight of wands having those fast moving horses like if you are not ready to control these fast moving horses well you're gonna fall off the horse and fucking eat shit okay so you don't want to do that right um so just pay attention to this right those two new aces pay attention to this right? That intuition, the, all those will guide you along the way this week, Gemini. Okay. Did you see that? That's a lot. Okay. I'm not going to take them. They're all reversed anyways. Can I get one, please? Well, there was Capricorn there. What the heck is going on? Capricorn. Why are they all upside down? No, they're not. Neptune. Okay. When the universe does funny things and then the cards say funny things too. Okay, so you got the 12th house, which is the house of the undoing. And literally the statement for the 12th house is I surrender. This is the house of intuition. The unconscious here is where we can see transcendent experiences, hospitals, prisons, secret agendas, hidden enemies, as well as unknown possibilities and one's weaknesses. This house is also associated with long-term confinement, seclu seclusion, and psychic abilities. And then Capricorn, which is Saturnian, uh, Saturn energy, and Capricorn, right? Um, 12th house is ruled by Pisces and Neptune. Um, when I see this, I really get this energy of um, the unknown possibilities that live within you and these experiences that you're, that you're going through where you need to trust your intuition and you need to pay attention to um, your unconscious mind and how your unconscious mind may be impacting you. Like maybe you're, you tend to be a really realistic person, Capricorn at some, or I don't want to keep wanting to call you Pisces, um, Gemini. Um, and um, I just heard some of you have rising um, a Pisces. Um, so maybe what happens is there's a real realistic portion or side of you and you're recognizing now that like realism, yes, it's important. It's logical. It's practical. Sure. But is it taking you in the right direction? Are you being too realistic where maybe you're being stagnant in your energy? You get what I'm saying, Gemini? Like when we're too realistic, like, and we need to have answers for everything. Sometimes we can't, right? You got to surrender. You got to be in that high priestess energy, okay? That high priestess energy speaks volumes for you this week. Then you got guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth and blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I think that has to do with the Ten of Wands. I also feel like that has to do with that Wheel of Fortune and that Death card where you're like, oh, maybe I'm the one that needs to wrap this thing up so we can move forward in whatever situation it is for some of you love for some of you career finances etc etc we are going to move into the love portion of this reading all right so this is where i do my spiel and i tell you if you want to book a live one hour reading with me take a look at the description box below if you want to shop over at starcy jewels and pick up your modern day amulets i'm wearing packs here on my neck priestess Ishel and um divina on my wrist okay and then on this one i've got and morrigan and the evil eye malojo which are highly protective pieces um i feel like if i'm going to really recommend any crystals to you based off of this reading a lot of blues blue crystals are really important so blue lace agate okay 
Blue lace agate is found in Priestess. It's found in Ishel. Um, it's also found in the necklace I'm wearing packs, which can also be a choker. Um, Amazonite, okay. Amazonite's found in Aphrodite and a few different pieces as well on the site. Um, because these crystals really have to do with the throat chakra. And I think that that's where your power lies this week, okay? And then if you want to book a live one hour, take a look at the description box as well. Let's get into the love reading here for you. Okay, it's safe for you to love. I don't do reversals on these. Children, your love life is being affected by... <laughs> Children, all right, let's see. What's, what fell down here? What has fallen? Retreat and reconciliation. Okay, do not get back together with anyone during Mercury retrograde. I repeat, do not get back together with anyone during Mercury retrograde. I repeat, repeat, repeat. The Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. It's too many. Can I just get two more, please? Um, you got the Nine of Cups twice, so I mean, I would not be surprised if some of you are surrendering to a new romantic opportunity. Ten of Pentacles, wow. And the devil uh, reversed. Okay. All right. The Eight of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay. Some of you might be moving on this week in your love life. Like maybe you've met somebody new and you're taking these tiny steps to, you know, build a relationship with them after um, having been with a partner that wasn't healthy for you. Um, I'm not saying you're jumping from partner to partner. This feels like you've ended something um, and you're wanting to start something new. Maybe it's been ongoing for a few months now. And... This ex wants to come back. I don't think you're gonna take them back though with that devil reversed. Um, I think maybe that's what that knight of uh, wands is here too, like trying to rush into, into your happiness because you got some really beautiful cards here, Gemini, the nine of cups two times and then the ten of pentacles. Okay, you also got triple nines, all right? So I really feel like you're on this precipice of starting this new journey with somebody. Don't allow the past, don't allow previous relationships, previous partners to impact you. For others of you, I feel like you're really opening up your heart chakra. So if that was the case, I'd recommend using green crystals or pink crystals. So rose quartz, um, aventurine are really nice ones. Sorry, there's just a bird outside the window too. Um, and I would really just focus on, on being present in your energy this week. Um, if an ex tries to come back, I repeat, we do not get back together with exes, especially during Mercury retrograde. All right, Gemini, that is your weekly reading. Happy birthday. Um, if you want to book a live one hour reading with me or shop over at Starcy Jewels, take a look at the description box below. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.